Seventh grade, unit one, lesson one. What are scaled copies? Number one, here is a figure that looks like the letter A along with several other figures. Which figures are scaled copies of the original A? Explain how you know. First, let's take a look at the original figure in the upper left. It's two units tall and two units wide. Now let's take a look at figure one directly below it. It's three units tall and two units wide. So that's not a scaled copy. Let's take a look at figure number two. Its height is four units and its width is four units. So yes, that is a scaled copy of the original figure. Let's take a look at figure three. Figure three is not symmetrical like the original figure, so that is not a scaled copy. Let's take a look at figure four. Its height is one unit and its width is one unit. So yes, that is a scaled copy. Number two. Tyler says that figure B is a scaled copy of figure A because all the peaks are half as tall. Do you agree with Tyler? Explain your reasoning. No, I don't agree with Tyler because figure B would need to be half as wide as well as half as tall. Number three. Here is a picture of the Rose Bowl Stadium in Pasadena, California. Here are some copies of the picture. Select all the pictures that are scaled copies of the original picture. Here's a look at pictures A and B in comparison to the original picture outlined in green. Picture A appears to be a scaled copy because its height compared to the original picture looks just a little bit shorter and its width compared to the original picture also looks just a little bit shorter but B is not. The height of picture B appears to be about the same, but the length of picture B is much shorter. Here's a look at pictures C and D. The height of picture C seemed to have gotten a little bit shorter, but the width of picture C seemed to have gotten a lot wider. Picture C does not look like a scaled copy of the original. When you look at picture D, its height looks like it got about the same percentage shorter as its width did. Picture D appears to be a scaled copy of the original. Number four, complete each equation with the number that makes it true. A, five times what number equals 15? Five times three equals 15. B, Four times what number equals 32? Four times eight equals 32. C. Six times what number equals nine? This illustration shows how six goes into nine one and a half times. Three is half as six, and 3 goes into 9 3 times. So 6 times 3 halves also equals 9. So 6 times 1 and a half or 6 times 1.5 or 6 times 3 halves equals 9. D. 12 times what number equals 3? That's the same as the equation 12 times y equals 3 y being the unknown number. We can solve for y by getting the y by itself. y equals 3 divided by 12. And 3 divided by 12 is the same as 3 twelfths. 3 twelfths can be simplified. 3 divided by 3 is 1 and 12 divided by 3 is 4. So y would equal 1 fourth. 12 times 1 fourth equals 3. And that's really the same as 1 fourth of 12 is 3.